Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're looking at Power Apps Canvas Apps and we're looking at how we can move embedded Canvas Apps automatically across the environments without having to actually update the app ID. So we're going to automate embedded Canvas Apps. Okay, so let's look at solution issues then with embedded Canvas Apps. Well, the app ID may not update. The app itself isn't updating, so you may need to go in, save and republish. The app is referring to an app on a different environment. You may find that when you actually import your solution, you then realize that the app on, let's say your testing environment is referring to the app on the dev environment. That is a big issue that some people face, as well as manually updating an app ID every time you change an environment. Now, this is what we're looking to solve today. So let's take a look at the old versus new, the classic versus new view. So on your left hand side, you can see the classic view. And then on the right, you can see the new view. Now, what we want to focus on is the app ID section. And this is what we're going to be trying to automatically update when we change environments. But firstly, before we go any further, what you need to do, especially if you've never experienced embedded canvas apps before, is you need to create a placeholder column. An example of this can be called canvas app holder and it can be a simple string column. Now we're gonna be coming back to that, so make sure you do that before going any further. Okay, so let's go on to the classic. What we're going to be doing then is we're going to firstly click on the little pencil icon there and open up the app ID and you'll get the config property app ID. What you're going to want to do is select bind to a value on a field. And then you're going to select the column. It says field, but you're going to select the column that you've just previously created. So what are we actually binding to it then? It doesn't, it's not very clear on what's actually going on here, but we're going to go over this further. So let's just keep proceeding at the moment. You're essentially saying we're going to bind a value to this field. What you'll then do is click OK, and then we'll move on to the app name. So in this instance, then we're going to open up the, click on the pen to open up the configure property app name, but instead of binding to a value on the field, we're going to bind a static value. We're going to select single line dot text, and then we're going to enter the app name. Now this isn't just the app name that you type when you're creating the app, it's the given app name, um, such as like field names, you know that you might have like Joe underscore example app name underscore um, some random numbers. That's what you're looking for. If you don't know how to find this, this, the most simple way to do it is simply add your application to a solution and you'll be able to see the app name that you're looking for. Okay, so that's how you do it on a classic view and that's it. You've, you've, you've basically automated it. Let's take a look at how you do it on a new view and then what we're going to do is we're going to review exactly what's going on so you actually understand in the background what's going on to automatically do this. So in the new view, um, it looks a lot different. It looks a lot cleaner. However, it's effectively the same thing. What we're going to do is we're going to enter a static value um, of the entire app name into the static value section under app name. And then in the next section, we're going to click bind to a table column. We're going to select that. And then we're going to select our previously created column that we discussed earlier. Now let's take a look at how it works because as soon as you click done, it's going to do it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to export your solution, move it into another environment, and that app ID is going to automatically update. You're not going to have to go into your application and press save or publish. You're not going to have to go in and update the app ID yourself. 
it's automatically going to do it. So how does this work? Well, it's all based on the app, I, app name and app ID. So when we have the static value of the app name, the app name is not going to change. So what's going to happen is it searches for that particular app name on that environment. Once it finds the app name, obviously because you've imported it, it then gets the app ID for that app. So it uses the app name to find the application and then get the ID. Now obviously because the app ID changes between every environment, we are automatically searching and grabbing the latest app ID no matter what environment it is. And then what happens is it grabs that app ID and then binds it to the app ID column and updates it automatically. So ma no matter how many environments you go through, you can go from, let's say, dev, which could have app name of Joe's Canvas app, um, and it has an app ID of 1234. Then we move to test. It's still going to have the same name of Joe's Canvas app, but the app ID now might be 9876. So what's going to happen is it's going to search for Joe's Canvas app, it's going to grab the 9876 ID and automatically update the app ID column. So you don't actually have to ever touch the app ID um, section again and it will automatically update. And that is how you can automatically automate the app ID process for embedded Canvas apps. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.